Hi guys, my name is Nick and Faye. I am a travel and lifestyle creator over on YouTube and that basically means it is my job to travel and travel a lot. In fact, last year alone I took over 52 flights, which was a little crazy if I'm honest. But the benefit of traveling that much means you get to learn a lot along the way. So if you want to learn a few tips and tricks to up your travel game, make sure you stay tuned. Okay guys, so my first tip is the biggest tip because it is literally the one I share with all my friends and family and that is to use packing cubes. I know what you're thinking, packing cubes, really, is that the biggest tip? But honestly, they have changed my life. I'm able to pack quicker, I'm more organized, and best yet is when I'm on the road, I can actually find what I'm looking for with ease. Now, if you have packed without packing cubes, you know 100% of the time, you're gonna spend a little time on every trip looking for that one thing. With packing cubes, you don't experience that. So that is why they are my number one tip. My second tip is to opt for red-eye flights. Most people hate red-eye flights, but I personally love them because they are one of the best ways to start adjusting your sleep schedule. You sleep when you take off and you wake up when you're there. Usually you're arriving early morning, mid-morning, so you've already had a full night's sleep if you are able to sleep on a plane. I know not everyone can do this, but if you are one of those people who can, or if you're willing to practice, do it, because it'll make your life so much easier on the other end of the world. My third tip will help you get some rest if you're one of those people that might have a harder time falling asleep. That is to get yourself a good sleep or meditation playlist with some noise canceling headphones and a very good eye mask. And let me tell you, those noise canceling headphones will help you block out the world so you can get some rest. Tip number four is to get yourself a good blanket scarf. For some reason, most airlines haven't seemed to figure out what a good in-cabin temperature is. And if you're flying economy like I do, you're probably not getting one of those fancy first class blankets. A good blanket scarf will go a long way to keep you warm when cabin temperatures are cold. That brings me to tip number five, which is to layer your airport outfit. I personally like to wear cotton leggings or joggers with a tank top and a zip up hoodie. And I'll usually wear a leather jacket or a denim jacket over top of that for an extra layer. You would be surprised how many people don't layer up when they're on an airplane, especially when they're heading to a tropical destination. But they forget that the on airplane experience can be a little chilly or it could be raining when you land. By layering up, you're pretty much ready for anything because if you get to a destination and it's too hot, you can take those layers off or if you get to a destination and it's raining or it's cold, you're ready for it. Tip number six is one of the most important tips and I cannot stress that enough and that is to hydrate. Preferably by using a metal water bottle like a hydro flask or at least one that is good for mother earth You would be surprised how many people forget to bring their own water bottle when flying or when traveling And unfortunately a lot of long-haul flights do not give you enough water while you're on the airplane Another reason you want to use a refillable water bottle is because a lot of the times you can ask the flight attendant To give you water on the plane or to refill your bottle so that you have some when you land I believe I hinted at this one earlier, but tip number seven is to try your best to travel carry on only. Those packing cues I mentioned in my first tip will go a long way when using a carry on. I kid you not, I have been able to fit more than 10 outfits in a carry on for one trip alone. So you would be surprised what you can do. With that said, tip number eight is to get yourself some travel insurance. This is especially key for those of you who cannot travel, carry on only. Maybe you want some extra shoes or maybe you just cannot live without that full size shampoo and conditioner. I can relate. So having travel insurance in these cases will go a really long way, not only to help protect you if your luggage does get lost, but also to help keep you safe 
or help you pay for any medical treatments you might need should anything happen while you're away. Speaking of protection, tip number nine is all about that, and that tip is to get yourself a Find Your Friend app. You've probably heard of the Find My Friends app before, but maybe you didn't consider using this while on the road. There are lots of apps that are similar to this. You want an app like this so your family and your friends or whoever you're traveling with can easily locate you if you go missing or if you guys just get separated in a crowd. Obviously an app is not guaranteed to prevent anything, but it does help you and your friends travel a little smarter while maybe giving your family back home a little peace of mind. Tip number 10 is to get yourself a SIM card. My best advice is to purchase one of these cards before you go on your trip. There are loads of online options for buying them. I found mine on Amazon when I was going to Europe. And honestly, when you buy them in advance or you buy them online, you can get them for a lot cheaper than you can get them when you land. One of the biggest reasons you want to buy a SIM card before you go is so you have data when you land and you can easily map yourself to whatever hotel or destination that you're heading to. All right, so I already feel like that was a lot of tips and somehow it's only a handful of the things that I've learned in my many years of traveling. But hopefully these tips will help make your life a little bit easier when you're planning your next trip. And if you're looking for more life hacks or travel tips, make sure you're following at SliceTV on Instagram or head to slice.ca for more.